what's up y'all uh so today's episode we're going to be taking a look at some new old stock tubes um that i had picked up uh so i got these from fuzz audio um back when they were having a sale in uh april so we got two here and then we got this this one here um so this one is a uh jan 12ax 7wa uh, it's actually a sylvania of course the jan for those that don't know stands for joint army navy um had something to do with the military grade tubes or whatever back in the you know, 50s 60s and 70s um, but this one is a sylvania it was a new one box and it was packaged december of 1973. Uh, so this one is a long plate i don't know if you guys can quite see that so we got a long plate we're going to put that one in the uh, phase inverter position and then i picked up these two and i don't know which one's which let me pop them out real quick um and so anyways i got the three of these to put specifically in my satellite neutron uh i absolutely love that amp you know i did my uh, top uh 22 items or whatever top 20 for 2022 and i really should have included this amp in that it was one of my long time you know wish list items uh, to purchase and i finally was able to get one but um i just i don't know i don't give it enough love and i absolutely love the voice of the the neutron uh but back to the tube so this one is another sylvania so this is a made in usa tube this is a short plate and this one is a 1287 all right so then the next one i've got I love these little cases that Fuzz Audio uses. These are super nice um, for those tubes that don't have it. Uh, and this is the one I think I'm going to actually put into the V1 position on the Neutron. And this one is a new old stock, and it is an RCA black plate, um, supposedly. And I'm just now diving deep into the whole new old stock or the old tube world, but um, supposedly uh, black plates... Uh, have a special um, chime or cream or whatever you want to call it to them. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. I don't even know if there's really a difference from a tube. And I don't know when this one was made. Obviously, it's pre probably 1980 as my guess. But um, yeah, I, I don't really know if there's a uh, a mythic or you know lore or whatever about these things. So uh, currently installed, and the amp is already on. You can see the orange glow on the light. But um, so currently, we have a JJ um, twelve AT seven in the V one position, and we have a um, of course it's new production, and then we have a new production or current production, whatever um, EHX twelve AX seven in the phase inverter position, uh, and then I run new 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 run, new uh, fucking current production, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Mullard EL84s, so it's a matched pair of those. Uh, it's an 18 watt amp. It's not meant to be you know, super loud or high gain, but uh, it's fucking lovely. There's just a really good voice to these amps and, and um, you know, satellite, Adam um, um, is a well-known builder in the boutique world. I mean, he builds them for some of the greatest bands out there. Um, Flagamali and Social D being two of the ones that really got me into the brand. But um, it's an incredible amp. They're all hand built. Uh, they're hand point to point, you know, soldered. Everything is is all old school done, and and they just have their own voice. It's nothing like anything else, and I think that's what's really unique about them. Uh, so today we're just gonna kind of play test. I wanted to do a before and after. Uh, so everything right now is gonna be the before. Uh, so we'll use my 2022 PRS. Uh, S2, the McCarty 594, and a purple amethyst burst. Of course, we have the PRS 5815 LT pickups. And um, we're not going to use any pedals. I've got the amp pretty much where I'll leave it all the time. Uh, so the tone is at about 1 o'clock, and I'll post a picture. Um, I keep the volume slightly low. Keeps it right at the edge of breakup. So if you dig in, you know you can get some power amp distortion to really come, come through. Um, but this way, if you roll your volume knob back, it'll, it'll clean up very nicely. So, you know, we'll do that and, um, we'll let the amp cool down a little bit. 
um, and then I'll let it run about 20 minutes before I uh, come back and start the filming after we swap the tubes out. So let's get into it. Here's the before. All right, you guys, there we go. That is with the JJ 12 AT7 in the V1 position uh, with the EHX, the electric harmonics um, 12 AX7 and the uh, phase inverter. So we'll go ahead and turn the amp off. We'll let it cool down. We'll swap the tubes out and then uh, we'll let them warm back up. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll do a, a secondary comparison. Again, we're not doing any pedals or anything. So just kind of stick around and we'll see what happens. Be right back. All right, everybody, we are back. Thanks to the magic of editing. Um, so again, the only thing we changed out was the preamp tubes. Uh, the power tubes are still going to be the you know, current production Mullard EL84s. Uh, so we put the um, RCA black plate in the uh, V1 position. And then we put the um, Sylvania... Uh, Fuck, now I forgot what it's called. Uh, the Joint Army Navy, the Jan uh, 12 AX7WA. We put that one into the phase inverter position. Uh, so when I started doing this tone quest, um, you know, and I read up on a lot of tubes and I started rolling tubes amongst all my amps, I've kind of found uh, my preferred set for a lot of my high gain stuff. But this this Neutron, uh, again, it's it's very old school technology. It's, it's all point to point. It's... Uh, it's it's got its own voice and it's lovely sounding to me um, so when I started looking into this I guess 
long plates typically sound better uh, in your phase inverter, I guess, with the way it works. I, I don't know the whole details, man. I could be just, you know, blowing smoke. It's the fucking internet. But uh, anyway, so we're going to see right now how well there is a difference. And I'll try and cut it up at the end. Um, and I'll do some timestamps maybe uh, to kind of show a comparison. Um, I probably should have just played the same riffs, but uh, we'll see. So here we go. So we got the black plate RCA uh, tube in the front in the V1. And then we have the um, Sylvania Joint Army Navy 12 AX7 in the V2 or in the phase inverter. Uh, and then we got the Mullard EL84s. So let's go. Let's talk about it. So, uh, definitely right off the bat, there is a lot more top end uh, with these tubes 
Um, nothing changed on the amp. I didn't touch the knobs, didn't do anything. The only, only variance is the tube. Um, everything's warmed up. I give them both 20 minutes to warm up uh, before we filmed anything. Uh, same guitar, same pickups. Of course, controls and things like that could play a factor, but I ride my tone knob 90% of the time all the way up, and these tubes really do sound incredible. Um, they're chimier. Uh, they're a little more clearer. They don't feel as compressed. They don't feel as um, almost as muffled, like there's a blanket over it. Uh, open, I guess, is the word for that. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm really impressed with the way these, these two tubes have uh, really, in, in my opinion, improved uh, the, the way the Neutron sounds. It's an, it's an incredible amp, and it's just added so much more value to it to me. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Uh, tell me in the comments below if you could definitely hear a difference or not. Uh, you know, maybe it's a placebo effect. Maybe I'm just hearing it in my head. I'm hoping the ISO cab is capturing uh, everything clearly enough. Um, so, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Um, you know, and tell me what you think. We'll see you in the next one.